Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. You know, what's more important, waiting to make the perfect decision or being in motion, even if it's the wrong decision? Interesting question, isn't it? You know, this last week I had the opportunity to spend time with just an amazing company. 60 years of history, 60 years of success, three generations working in to make it, making the right decisions at the right time, getting in motion at the right time in order to achieve the success that they've had now globally. And a lot of interesting discussions were around that. And as we were discuss, discussing what happens if we take the wrong road, you know, what happens if we go and we're going down the wrong road? I remembered a talk that was given by Jeffrey R. Holland. Jeffrey R. Holland is a former educator, former president of one of the major universities in the United States, a great ecclesiastical leader. And he tells this story of when his son, Matt, who now is a great leader in and of himself, but when his son, Matt, was only seven years old, he wanted to take him to see the Grand Canyon. And so it was a dusty, dirty road to get there, but it was the shortest road, but it took a long time in the hot sun, and they finally got to the edge of the canyon, and they took turns throwing rocks out into that canyon and admiring the great beauty of it, but then it was time to turn around. It was going to get dark. And as they're coming home, he kind of loses his way, and he's at a fork, and he can't remember if he goes right or if he should go left. He said, well, maybe this is a teaching moment for my son. Son? Why don't we say a prayer? Let's ask God which direction we should go. So the son said his prayer, dad said his prayer, and they both agreed that God had told him to go right, on the right road. So off they went. Quarter mile down the way, dead end. Quickly turns the car around, heading back. As he gets onto the right road, sure enough, here comes the question he knew was going to come. Dad, why did God tell us to go the wrong way? His response, did he? Did he really tell us to go the wrong way? Or was he trying to give us the conviction of which way was the right way? Imagine, son, if we had taken down this road, we would have been wondering for a long time if we were on the right road or not. But just by going a quarter of a mile down the road in the wrong direction, but being able to come back and correct, it put us on the right road and we knew we were doing the right thing. You know, in life, there's this thing called unintended consequences. A lot of them are for good. Think about all the things that have been invented because somebody was going down this road and it opened their eyes to this road. When Kennedy said, let's put a man on the moon. And everybody says, what are we gonna do on the moon? And to this day, what have we done on the moon? But think about the hundreds, thousands of inventions that have improved the quality of life and industry in so many ways because they were in motion to the moon. Think about other things that have been created. I mean, everything from penicillin to cornflakes, gunpowder. I mean, there's so many different things when people have been in motion to do one thing that something even bigger shows up on the horizon. Oftentimes, as leaders, whether leaders in of ourselves, our family, our businesses, we see islands and we see islands that we want to get to and we're very good at describing them. And as we get in motion to that island, we see the real island or we see a bigger island. And that's the bigger effect. We would not have seen it had we not been in motion. So the key to all of this is how can we be in motion as quickly as possible and still not be going in the wrong direction? Now, I have some tools that I'm going to share with you next week. So that's a good reason for you to listen next week to how can we make that decision quicker. But I think the key to it is ask yourself, what's the smallest step I can take today that will get me in motion, but do it with an open mind so that I can see the other effects that are around me? How far do you have to live? How, how far do you have to lift the anchor on the boat to get into motion? You just, need to leave the, leave, you just need to lift the anchor that much. So lift the anchor on your boat. Pick the destination in the right direction. It may not be the right thing, but get in motion towards it. And my prediction is, as you move towards it, you just may see even bigger islands as you go along the way. Join me next week. I'll share with you a tool that'll help you even make even better decisions earlier. I look forward to talking to you next week. 
It's all about motion. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.